I think that they're a very talented football team, just like us. You know, you watch them on film. You, they play extremely hard. They play um, fast and, and smart, um, like I said before. So that's that's what jumps off on the tape. You know, you, you, especially when you you're going through a year, you don't really get to see the other side of the country that much. Um, you know, you catch a game after you play a noon game here and there, but realistically, you're playing your game. You're trying to get back and get some sleep, and then you're on to the next one. So it's been tough to see to see all these teams, but just watching them on film, they're very similar to us. They they run fast, they play hard, they play aggressive, and uh, you know that reminds me a lot about Penn State football too. So. Yeah, when when you have a room like like us, um, you know, Brenton Strange, Theo Johnson, Tyler Tyler Warren, um, you know, all three of those guys really provide a lot of value, and you can't leave them off the field. So getting into, you know, getting out of eleven personnel, getting into twelve, thirteen, even. Um, Bringing in big bodies, it just it just messes with personnel. Um, it makes the other team really have to look who's on the field, um, be strategic about who's going to be on the field, who's going to be off the field, just because they can do everything. They can they can block, they can they can run routes, they can catch. So it, it presents a lot of challenges for teams, and I'm sure you'll you'll see it soon too. Sean, we've talked to you before about your relationship with Mitchell and mm-hmm. with him against him. Does it take Taking kind of different paths in college, where you've been here for a long time, he's been cool to get to this point. Right. This has been cool to see from your end, him grow and him develop and him make such a big impact in one year. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, Mitch Tinsley came in realistically with one goal in mind, and that was to, to win football games and to get better as, as a player. And he did a really good job of that. You know, being my roommate, he was in my ear 24-7, asking about the playbook, constantly wanting to, to get better. You know, when can we run some extra routes? When can we do this? When can we do that? Um, so it was it was a great relationship we've had throughout this year. Um, you know, I'm going to definitely miss the guy, but wish him well. Um, and, you know, have one more with him, though, so it'll be a lot of fun. I'm sure you've been asked this already, but, you know, for your, you know, just you personally, how has the last, you know, kind of couple of days been getting mm-hmm. out here? Yeah, it's been a blast. It's been um, nothing but fun. We've had a few days uh, to be able to kind of relax, practice a little bit, have some some lifts, but at the same time, just really focus on um, you know being around the, the team and camaraderie and everything. Today's going to be our first um, you know padded practice back back at back at it truly. I'm um, really excited to get back out there. We had a skelly uh, yesterday, two days ago, but <clears throat> you know it's 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 been a blessing. It really has just to be able to represent Penn State one more time, be able to do you know it on such a big stage like the Rose Bowl. It's just so much fun to to be here and be with the teammates that you know I love and appreciate. How important is that camaraderie aspect of this? Um, obviously, it's a big game. It's an opponent, big occasion. But for you, in your in your last bowl trip, in your last you know. Few days around this team and these guys that you know for so long. How important is that camaraderie aspect of the team? Yeah, it's huge. You know, it's it's half of it right there. You know, winning the game obviously is the most important, but at the same time, um, it's my last one. Want to be able to to see those guys, you know, one last time. It's just not going to be the same, and 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 that's probably the the one thing I, I going for me that I know. You know, I've, I've seen a bunch of guys come in and out of the program. I've heard the stories of, you know, once you leave, it's just not the same. You know, the NFL is not the same. The work work environment is not the same. It's not the locker room like college college ball. Um, so just being able to take advantage of that and really, you know, be excited about the little things. That's that's the biggest, biggest takeaway for me. It's just having fun with the littlest moments with my teammates and and having a blast. Sean, how has this past month been for you? Have you been able to reflect on your career yet? I would say a little bit, for sure. Just being able to, to look back, uh, especially during the downtime, during the Christmas time. Just We were actually going through uh, my TV, the, the, my parents' TV. Um, it's an old TV. And 
they recorded all the games, um, so that we just went back and watched a bunch of them, and it was so much fun. Just to, because they were, we, because we convinced them to get a new TV, so uh, they were getting rid of it, and they were going to lose all the games on the recordings. But we were just going through it, and just all the cool experiences, all the teams that I played on, it was just fantastic. Um, couldn't couldn't thank Penn State enough to to be in the position that I've been in, and just a uh, cool little. Cool day, um, definitely to, to spend time with family. Do you remember any of those games in specific that you guys worked over? Or some memories? Um, you know, just looking back, and I, I think you know the the Michigan whiteout in 2019, just being my first whiteout, was one that when I turned it on, I was like, wow, that was that was awesome. Just um, the environment, the the excitement, the the magnitude of that game going into that that year, um, my first year starting too. And that that one stood out, um, but you know the list goes on and on. Games from this year, games from 2019, even games from 2018 when I was just getting a snap or two. Just being able to be out there, the excitement of just being able to play ball in front of so many people um, and so many great fans. It's truly been an honor. Yeah. Do you remember when you knew you wanted to come to Penn State? Like the first, like just in terms of yeah. football, just like college in general. Yeah, I, I definitely do. Uh, you know, I was visiting. I, I didn't visit a ton of schools. Um, I got offered by a decent amount, but that was before everybody was torn everywhere. You know, I've, I'm here six years, so I've I've committed almost ten years. I feel like it was eight, eight, yeah, 2015. So almost yeah, eight years ago. So it was a different time. In